Hi there everyone, this is Emmy from hectanuga.etsy.com, my pattern shop, and I'm here today in partnership with allfreecrochet.com to show you how to join yarn without a knot. And this is a section that I have joined and I'm showing it in two different colors so that it's easier for you to see. And it's a very strong connection and uh, it's a great way to start another uh, piece of yarn if you run out of yarn in the middle of a row and you're knitting or crocheting. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now and it's very, very easy. So let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is thread one end of our yarn into a yarn needle like that. Keep the needle fairly close to the yarn end, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take a few stitches, take a few stitches, take a few stitches, take a few stitches for about two inches of the length of the uh, yarn. And then we're going to pull that through, holding on to the loop. We don't want to lose our loop, okay? like that. So we've got a loop here which we'll be able to tighten up after we get the other section on. I'm going to demonstrate with two different colors of yarn because it will be easier for you to see. So we're going to do the same thing with the pink yarn. We're going to thread our yarn end, keep the needle fairly close to the end of the yarn, and then we're going to insert that the needle through the other section of yarn where we left that little loop. Okay, and then we're going to take uh, this, do the same thing as we did with the other blue section. We're going to take a few stitches, take a few stitches, take a few stitches. We're going to do that for approximately two inches along the length of the pink, and we're going to pull that through just like we did for the other side okay so then we're going to can stretch that out and we can pull the loop up so that it brings this the loop tight I'll show you with the blue you'll be able to see that a little bit better let me find my yarn end here okay when I pull on this section the end I can tighten up that loop so that that's no longer open and you have a totally closed in section of yarn. So now we can just trim off the yarn ends. So I'll trim off the blue one and I'll trim off the pink one. And what you're going to have now is one continuous section of yarn. So for instance, if you ran out of yarn in the middle of a row, rather than start another strand and, and have to weave in yarn ends, if you do this, this is never going to let go. It's very, very strong. And so that is a great way to join up your yarn when you run out of yarn in the middle of a row. And it works great for both knitting and crochet. Once that's worked in and crocheted in, it will never be noticed. So that's how you make the Russian join without a knot in knitting and crochet. And that's been brought to you today by allfreecrochet.com. Drop by the site and have a look at all the free tutorials, tips on crocheting, and free patterns available. Thanks for watching.